we're looking for the impact. It looks like right here. And then as it was deflected, it hit here. And then that looks pretty gnarly right there. What do you think that is? It looks kind of liquid. Check that out. Yep, he hit hard. I'm really sorry about that. It just tears me up when I see things like that happen. There's a palm tree. That's about the only tree out here. Got a buzzer. He was flying so slow. Did y'all see that? That's why I see dead buzzards on the side of the road, I guess. I thought people were running over them while they were sitting and eating. I guess reality is they were flying into vehicles. Wow. I am so sad for that. So, so, so sad for that. I just hope it killed him instantly and that he's not suffering.
I found another tree. One. Oh, I'm being melodramatic. There's a lot of trees around here. Well, that's camp number two on our journey to Big Bend. We're over here at the Steelwell Ranch. It's called the Steelwell Ranch Store, RV Park, and Hattie Steelwell Museum. I don't know. I'll show you a sign later. The Ramada I chose to park the RV by apparently was pretty popular with birds. The table is just a mess, literally. But I'm over here across the drive trying to figure out what I'm doing out here in 100 degree temperatures at 530 in the afternoon and wondering how I'm going to ride a bicycle a mile a day back and forth from work. Back, back over behind me, you can see the Caddyshack. There's the Caddyshack right there. How about a photo? We'll do that. And hold it still. What if that turned out all right? For the life of me, when I got here, I couldn't figure out how the sun was going to be setting. They have us parking east-west, so the sun's either going to set directly in your front windshield or directly in the back window. Well, my back window happens to be my bed, so I faced the sunset with the front window and insulate, insulate, insulate. It has a very still beauty out here. It's very quiet. It's very peaceful. And there's a bit of a breeze coming through. But it's very dry. When I checked in today at about 2.30, eh, eh, yeah, 2.30, 2.45, it was 104 degrees. And I think they hit their high around 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I checked the temperature just now and it says that it is 98 degrees in Alpine. That doesn't help me at all. Because Alpine's 130 miles from here. Oh, and what good is that? I tried to get the weather stations deep in the park to find out what their temperatures are. But the Panther Junction is the only one that I could find, and Panther Junction's at a higher elevation, and it's usually kind of middle range. They have the high elevation at um, the basin, which is very high and cool, and they have Panther Junction, which is kind of the midway, and then we have where I'm going to be working, which is way down on the uh, Rio Grande River, and that's the lowest elevation and probably the hottest temperatures. So, yeah, we don't know what we got into, do we? Mm -mm. It'll be fine. I keep telling myself it's going to be fine. Fine, fine, fine. Big difference from the Piney Woods, isn't it? Real big difference from being in the Piney Woods. Yep, yep. The air conditioner has been on since I got here, middle of the afternoon. It's still 90 degrees inside the rig. <sighs> I'm going to be missing shade trees pretty soon. I'd like to go for a little walk, but I think it's a little too taxing for us today. So we're going to wait till it cools down a little bit. We may have a surprise for you later on tonight.